My name's Scott McConnell, Executive Manager, Qantas Engineering. Today, we're gonna to take you through a few things behind the scenes and what we do to ensure your aircraft is safe to fly. In each and every case, when we get alerts on these aircraft, the aircraft are designed to have redundancy built into them. The aircraft have multiple layers of hydraulics, electrical, air conditioning, and all those other components that if one system fails, another system is ready to take its place. Most of the maintenance performed are performed by Qantas engineers, proudly onshore in Australia, the domestic network, our line maintenance network, and our heavy maintenance network. So once we have the maintenance program for our aircraft, we tailor that to the way we fly, and it's fairly unique to the way Qantas operates. We utilise all the ground time across our network, both domestically and internationally. These inspections can be before each flight, or on a weekly or a monthly basis, or in some cases, an annual basis. The efforts we put into the inspection program on aircraft are second to none. We're here in the IOC, the centre responsible for overseeing Qantas' operation 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Within the operations centre, we have some critical areas represented, such as our customer journey team, uh, responsible for actually responding to any customer-related uh, events. We have our engineering department, uh, who are constantly uh, monitoring uh, our flying. We have uh, Qantas meteorologists and other really important uh, people represented here. In the event of a disruption, we find out very quickly, which allows us to respond at an instant. We uh, will immediately start to engage our pilots in flight. It could be our, our ground handlers on the ground at any airport that we might need to land into. Uh, we can engage air traffic control and any other business unit that might be responsible or able to support us at that time. What makes this centre great is the calmness of our people, which allows us to respond effectively uh, when things don't go to plan. Passengers should feel safe on Qantas because our safety systems, our training is second to none. At Qantas, uh, we train in the simulator. We do two recurrent sessions in a row. They're six hours long. We do them four times a year. And those simulators, we train for all sorts of events which you'll probably never see in your career. Flying along and we get something um, pop up to tell us there's a problem with an aircraft or a system on the aircraft. It's really a, a moment to sit back and actually have a think about what's going on. You don't have to rush into anything. The planes are designed to be capable of managing themselves for a little while. So we, we sit back, we have a look at it, and then we have a whole checklist procedure that we'll run through to deal with whatever the problem is. Air turnbacks happen every day. It's not common, but it's not uncommon. Around the industry, you'll see a lot of aeroplanes return to where they took off from. The decision to continue or not turn back if we have a problem with the aircraft, it's purely the pilot in command makes that decision. And you base it on what you're seeing and where you think the best place to take the aeroplane will be. And, and sometimes that might be a destination. Other times we'll come back to where we've taken off from or we'll divert to a port nearby. Whatever's the safest option. 